All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanna to go over how to wire multiple lights on one switch leg. So if you remember, I had this switch leg right here going into the box up to this light. And now I'm gonna show you how to wire multiple lights um, together. So if you wanna turn on two lights at the same time off one switch, this is how you do it. Maybe you already know, so maybe you already don't need this video, but I appreciate you watching if you already do. Um, so I already went ahead and cut my piece of wire right here. And once again, you can strip this before you put it in the box or put it in the box and then strip it. For this scenario, I'm probably just going to strip it ahead of time. I'm probably gonna go about 10 inches to a foot. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. If I can get it just right. And then sometimes these tabs can be hard to open. Um, these ones are very loose, so that's good. Sometimes you can just push on it. Um, and you can go either the top or the bottom. There's these little push tabs and that'll hold the wire in. And you just want to get enough in there. Um, code is about a quarter inch, I believe. Um, so once you do that, I'm just going to get the other side ready. And you can uh, zip tie this or tape it um, to the bar for support. And then if you want to throw a staple over here. Um, and then once again, just pick your, your height, your depth on the, your insulation right here, just enough to get it into the box. I think I left this wire a little bit long. So this one's gonna be a little bit longer. And it's really hot out in the garage. So I decided to open the garage so hopefully you don't hear any extra noise out there. Um, so once again, just cut your paper off and then go ahead and push that tab down again and push your wire inside. I think people are rolling out their garbage cans. It's garbage day tomorrow. And then pull your wire through. And usually it's not this bad of a scenario because you're not putting two lights next to each other, but just for the demonstration, that's where I had this last, these boxes put at. So it's a little bit more inconvenient for me. Um, so there you got your two wires inside of your box right there. And so this one, you're just gonna fold it up. That's all you gotta do on that first one. And the second one, you're gonna have to tie the grounds together um, so you can uh, meet the grounds in the middle. I'll move you guys over here so you can see what's going on here, sort of. So you can put the grounds in the middle, however you want to do this, whatever your style is. If you want to meet the grounds in the middle, if you want to meet them at the bottom, if you want to meet them at the top, um, it's really just up to you. I'm just gonna, well, I'll just move them at the top, meet them at the top, I guess. And it's kind of nice that this one is short already because I we're gonna need to add a pigtail, so that's about the perfect length. So I'm gonna grab my wire strippers and then just cut this first one or second one. And then I'm gonna have to make a pigtail because I don't have one at the moment. So let me grab one real quick. There, I found an old one on the ground. And then I need a couple wire nuts. So I found a wire nut, found a pigtail. Just going to line these up tie them together and then you can either tie the whites together and then the blacks together or you can just skip it depends on what your company wants or what you prefer um, but if you do pigtail these then you won't have a problem so if you take out a light the other lights on the row like let me just say like you need to pigtail your grounds no matter what so that's required um, but it's going to make it easier and less problems if you tie these whites together and pigtail them and then tie these blacks together and pigtail them. So if you ever take this light out down the road, it's not going to make this light stop working. Um, same thing with your plugs. Um, but it's really just up to you and how quick you want to do it. Usually, um, usually for two wires, it's like 50, 50, if you want to just leave it unpigtailed and just fold these into the box. Um, but if you do like three wires in this box, if you ran another wire in here and ran it to another light, then it's usually 
always going to pigtail more than two wires so really just up to you and for the sake of the video i'll probably just skip wire nutting the rest of these um, but once again once you get your pigtail in there just going to fold it up get everything pushed back as far as possible and then you can either um, just fold all these back together or you can make them color to color if you want to just put all your whites right here on next to the grounds um, and then kind of also push back the incoming wire this got a little out of hand um, but you probably do want to leave a little bit longer than this more like this length maybe a little bit shorter um, but about 10 inches to a foot um, so really depends on your preference but it's always better to leave a little bit more wire than shorter so you can have extra just in case and then if you're working on the ceiling you have um, room to bring this down to the ladder possibly um, when you go to tie your light in it's going to have you know a foot of wire off of the light itself and then if you have a foot here then you have two feet and you can usually set the light down on the ladder and then make up your wires and then screw everything to the ceiling or whatnot so anyways hopefully that helps you out guys um, and then once again you can throw a piece of tape on here or staple it over here to secure it um, but other than that hopefully this helped you out and then this is how you would turn on two lights off of one switch hit your switch both of these come on at the same time because they're tied together and coming off the same switch so that should do it guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate it once again hopefully this helped you out if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like button and subscribe love to see you guys back in the next video and i'd love to keep helping you out and uh, it would help the channel grow and then lastly check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams thanks guys so much god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace out all right and if you guys were wondering i did finish the last of the vav units today and then went ahead and installed some thermostats at the end of the day so tomorrow i will be doing something completely new and i will i believe update you guys on that so stay tuned tomorrow should see a new video hopefully granted that everything goes right all right that should do it guys peace out